Okay, so in the rear with Icon suspension, what I'm running is the Icon billet rear trailing arms, upper and lower links, hydraulic bump stops, and rear pannard bar. Uh, and like I said earlier, it's the Icon Stage 7 kit, and all together it is a really good kit with uh, adjustability with the CDC valving technology, and uh, it's just fantastic. This is the Goose Gear Camp Kitchen setup. So on the left side of it, you'll see I'm running a Snowmaster 42 liter Expedition fridge and a uh, Cook Partner uh, cook stove on here as well. Uh, so this thing's ergonomically sound. It just works on a Tempo Test slide. So the fridge slides out. And then the second stage, the Cook Partner Partner Steel Stove slides out as well. Again, it's ergonomically sound. We do all of our cook work back here. And on the right side, you've got a storage box. Uh, this is where I keep a lot of my extra recovery equipment. And uh, when we're loading out for an expedition, I'll put a lot of the food here as well during our trip. Next, we've got the Orange Box Fabrication PSD panels on the left and right. Orange Box Fabrication did a custom run with us and etched the Bold Overland logo. Uh, and it looks just fantastic. So with that, I hold a couple things on my PSD panels. One, my fire extinguisher. It's uh, immediate access, and then I have some recovery equipment here, some ARB um, air deflators, my uh, sling rope, good recon marine, because it doesn't go anywhere without a sling rope, <laughs> a hatchet, and then uh, I carry my gas system here for my attachment, my fittings for my stove, and just a couple little odds and ends back here. Everything nice and tidy. I'm OCD, so I like everything clean, organized, and efficient. All right, one other aspect about the Goose Gear Camp Kitchen setup I like is the ability to lash down equipment on top of it. Oftentimes, if I'm running an additional cooler or I'm running um, North Face duffel bags, sleeping systems, recovery equipment, whatever, what I'll simply do is just loosen up the straps here on the bungees and then fit whatever I'm carrying underneath it and lash it all the way down. So again, it's supremely important while on the trail to lash down all of your equipment. Uh, that way it's not flying all over the vehicle and in the in the, in the event of a rollover uh, everything's not going to come unsecure and potentially hurt a passenger in the vehicle. As you can tell I'm running the Rhino Rack Pioneer system with uh, the backbone attachment point which mounts into the factory uh, connection points on the vehicle therefore there's no drilling. Immediately you'll notice I'm running the Rhino Rack back wing. This uh, 270 degree awning. The Rhino Rack knocked this thing out of the park. We've done extensive field testing. We can't break this thing. Next, you'll see up top I'm running the uh, Rhino Rack dual uh, jerry can holder up top where you lay those guys down flat. It's nice and tidy. And then I'm also running the Rhino Rack gas storage bottle up top for propane. On the other side of the vehicle, up top, you'll see I'm running the Rhino Rack shovel and Max Trax holder. You can actually fit four on here and lash them down appropriately. And on the front, I'm running the Rhino Rack wind deflector with an APOC Industries 30 inch light bar. And on the rear, I'm running APOC Industries six inch rear lights on the back. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed the walk around in the bold T4R TRD Pro. Uh, with that, we are at Toyota Knoxville. And one of the things we're finding now is that as overlanding gets more attention here and gains steam and momentum in the United States, a lot of the Toyota dealerships across the United States are slinging aftermarket accessories. So definitely check out your local Toyota dealership or if you're in transit as well, pop into the Toyota dealership and see what they have. They might have that accessory that's good for your system.